Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us uh, today. Uh, let me start that I am uh, one of those victims of uh, stripping his nationality. My nationality has been stripped. And uh, I was one of the first lists which is published in November 2012. It is not just when you see suddenly your name is being published and you lose your nationality. The worst pain is you don't know the reason. Up to now, I'm challenging the government to give me the reason why they stripped my nationality. Imagine someone is leaving his country just for short visit. In my case, I was planning to come to UK for just a week. I took a small handbag with me. The next day, I received a call from my wife telling that they published the names and my name is part of the list. Uh, then that was my last day that I said goodbye to Bahrain and still I'm here four years but, uh, uh, spending that. Still I'm challenging the Bahraini governments, give me the reason. Definitely it was not through the court and it was not through the basic, just a short statement by Ministry of Interior giving the names, then they said they have the right to appeal. Uh, I remember I spoke with the British Foreign uh, Affairs, the FCO, they said, yes, you have right to appeal. I said, no, I won't appeal because I am now in exile. I cannot go over to Bahrain. What we done, we encouraged one of our colleagues whose name was in the list, his name is Ibrahim Karimi, to go and go and do the appeal process. His lawyer was here, he was talking, uh, lawyer uh, Mohammed Tajar. The process took a year. At the end, what was the court decision through this appeal? I can quote you. The court decision was like that. It is entirely the right of the state to deprive any citizen's nationality and they are not obliged to give any reason and they shouldn't be asked to. Due to the certain security, national security, they have full right and no one should demand them to bring any proof. They know the security of the country more than the anyone else. So their decision is totally right and the depriving uh, uh, nationality is for one. The government, what they done, because there was some pressure over the government, it was a decision by the Ministry of Interior and as per the law, it should be decreed by the king what they done, instead of changing it and saying it was a wrong decision, they modified and amended the law to giving the power to the Ministry of Interior. And this is what happened. They given full power to the Ministry of Interior to deprive and strip the nationality whoever he thinks is going to be a threat to the national security and shouldn't be, he shouldn't be uh, questioned. And this was which lead now to more than 300 Bahraini citizens to be stripped of nationality. We will continue the rest of the story when we find that they started to deport them. Those who are in Bahrain being uh, called in uh, Ministry of Interior, uh, Immigration Directorate, and took from them all their identities, then they told them, please find some citizen to sponsor you. They said, who can sponsor us without an ID? After a month, they called them back. They said, your stay is illegal. So they made a case against them in the court. And less than a year, the court decision was they are illegally staying in the country and they should be deported. And they done so. Up to now, six, they've been deported by force. They given them, they took, they called them to come to the immigration uh, uh, directorate without telling them why, directly when they came there, they took them to the airport, they given them a one-way ticket and a passport, temporary task passport for one year, uh, valid, and they deported them, some of them to Iraq and some of them to Lebanon. Because these countries either they don't need a prior visa or they give you visa in the airport. And now we have six out of uh, 300 and some of them already lived in exile a long time back, so they are now started. The latest disaster in this process is 
when they dare to uh, uh, strip the nationality of highest uh, 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 clerk and uh, scholar in Bahrain who is the spiritual leader of Shia community, uh, Sheikh Isa Qasim. Everyone knows now, a couple of days, by sudden, by just a decision by the Ministry of Interior announcing in the public media that his nationality is being stripped. This man all the time used to advise that the public should have the right but peacefully and he wanted reform and never, never he even uh, demanded the overthrow of the regime. So here the question comes, what is the role of the international committee in this regard? I myself, I remember when they started the stripping in November 2012, I told him or I counsel, I told representatives of many countries, especially allies of Bahrain, United Kingdom, United States, that if you don't be so strong and object this action, the government will continue less than a year. You can see so many stateless, Bahraini stateless, either they are in Bahrain or outside. Please take strong action. Yes, we used to hear some, uh, 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 I can say, small type of condemnation, but no serious action has been taken up to now. We thank uh, High Commissioner Frequently, he used to mention this case, but we know human rights council is still, they don't have mechanism to impose. On uh, uh, May 2012, before even the stripping nationality in Bahrain had uh, been stopped, that the council uh, demanded a new PR of Bahrain, 176 recommendations. And uh, up to now, we are in a way to second term of the uh, UPR, which is going to be on May 2017. So once again, we are uh, taking and, 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 and considering the responsibility over the allies of Bahrain, mainly United Kingdom, United States, uh, and the European Union, to don't just to uh, verbally condemn it. There should be a clear actions. I know some countries, they strip nationalities, but they never, never, ever strip nationality of the citizen to become stateless. And in the, even if they do it, if they will do it through the independent justice that they can go through all this process long, long, long time back and there should be justifications and, and maybe sometimes they will do it because he's having another nationality. Most or maybe all of those who nationalities have been stripped, someone like me, we became stateless. We never ever had any other nationality. We wish that this process will not go long Yes, there is a political intention behind it. Two reasons. One, they want to silence all opponents of the government different way, either behind the bar or serving nationality or uh, force them to be deported or sometimes trying now to, uh, 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 trying to definitely uh, control. And I think the witnesses mentioned that they stopped our pension. We cannot deal with our property at all. Uh, 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 definitely all newborn babies, they are stateless. They don't have any birth certificate, nothing, because their father are considered to be stateless up to now. And uh, we think that time comes that Bahrain should find different language from the international community to don't let go easy with it. Thank you very much.